So the question is, how do we handle the emotional side of credit? And what I mean by that is, many times we have maybe impulse buyer reaction. I don't know if you have, I know I have. We buy that thing, we're so excited, the next day we have buyer's remorse. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. And then what we're trying to do is put our head in the sand. We say, you know what, ah, I'm just going to pretend it's not there. Maybe we'll just go away. We all know that doesn't work, but if we just kind of just forget about it and move on. I recommend that maybe for those of us who do that or have done that, maybe we're the ones that jump the first. Let's sit down, make your plan. Because if you're in the middle of it and you don't have a solution, what I've learned is sitting and talking about it, how do we get out of this, is step number one and always works because it may not work right away, but it'll work eventually. You've got to start talking about it. So if you're in that situation where you've been an impulse buyer, you have some bad credit, some bad decisions that have followed you around, my recommendation is let's get started. Call me. Let's get rolling on it.